Okay, so welcome back once again. So today we're going to discuss about inductive and deductive reasoning. Okay, so we define inductive reasoning as the process of observing data, recognizing patterns, and making generalizations. So here are some examples of inductive reasoning in mathematics. So number one, find the next two terms of each sequence. Letter A, so we have 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So hanapin natin ang pattern, ano kaya yung susunod na dalawang terms um, bago, uh, after ng 16. So you have here 1, paano siya naging 2, 4, 8, and 16. So in this example, our answer is, the next two terms are 32 and 64, since each term is two times the previous terms. No? So, yung 1 natin dito ay times da ng 2, kaya naging 2 yan. Then times mo ulit sa 2, we have 4 times 2, that's 8. Then times 2, that's 16. Then 16 times 2, that's 32. Then 32 times 2, that's 64. So, ganun natin nahanap yung uh, next na two terms dito sa ating first example. Okay? So, how about number uh, letter B sa so second example? 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. So, what will be the next two terms of this sequence? So, our answer here is that the next two terms are 36 and 49 since these are the 6th and 7th squared numbers. Okay? So, yung 1 daw, squared mo siya, sagot is 1. The next is 2, square mo yung 2, that is 4. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, then 5 squared is 25, then next to 5 is 6, so 6 times 6, that's 36, and then 7, so 7 times 7, or 7 squared is equal to 49, and so on. Okay? Okay, so let's have our third example. So we have 1, 11, 22, 34, and 47. So ano yung magiging pattern natin dito? Or hahanapan natin ng pattern kung yung 1, paano siya naging 11, then next is 22, 34, and 47. So what will be our next two terms? So our answer here is that the next two terms are 61 and 76. Since each term is obtained by adding 14 and 15 to 47 and 61 respectively. No? So start kay dito sa 1. So ano yung inad sa 1 para maging 11? So that is 10. So 1 plus 10 that is equal to 11. Then yung 11 para maging 22 siya. So nag add tayo ng 1 dun sa 10. So we have 11 plus 11 that is 22. So 11 plus 1, that is 12. So, 12 plus 22, that is 34. So, 12 plus 1, that is 13. So, 13 plus 34 is equal to 47. Then, 47 plus 14, that is 61. Then, 61 plus 15, that is 76. And so on. Okay? So, let's have number, uh, letter D, number 4. So, we have 20, 15, 10, 5, and 0. So, what will be our pattern here? So, as you can see, it is decreasing or pababa. So, anong ginawa sa 20 para maging 15, then 15 naging 10, 10 naging 5, then 5 naging 0. So, our answer is that the next two terms are negative 5 and negative 10 since each term is obtained by subtracting 5. No? So, you have um, 20 minus 5 daw, so we have 15. Then you have 15 minus 5, that's 10. Then 10 minus 5, 5. Then 5 minus 5 is 0. Then 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Then negative 5 minus 5, that is negative 10. Okay? So next, we have... Okay, so fifth example. So we have 3, 6, 12, 24, and 48. So ano yung magiging pattern natin dito? So 3 naging 6, then 6 naging 12, 12, 24, then 24 naging 48. So ang pattern natin dito is that the next two terms are 96 and 192 since each term is obtained by multiplying 2. No? So multiply ng daw natin ng 2. So we have 3 times 2, that's 6, then times 2, 12, times 2, 24, then times 2 is 48. Okay, so correct. 
Okay, so this time, let's talk about deductive reasoning. So we define deductive reasoning as the process by which a person makes conclusions based on previously known facts. So here are some examples of deductive reasoning in mathematics. So we have our first, so we denote that as x. So sabi dito, no, if you quit smoking, then you save your lungs. Then next, James has quit smoking. So based dito sa dalawang facts na ito, ano yung makakonclude natin? No, ano yung magagawa nating conclusion base dito sa dalawang situations na ito? So we denote that as letter Z na pwede nating makonclude na si James saves his lungs. No? Kasi sabi dito na if you, quit, uh, if you quit smoking, then you save your lungs. So, si James daw, nag-quit siya ng smoking. Then, we can conclude na si James, masisave niya yung kanyang lungs. Okay? So, ganun yung ating um, deductive reasoning. So, person makes conclusion based on previously known facts. Okay? So, guys, so let's have this second example. So, ang first fact natin, Filipinos have brown eyes. And second fact, Mickey has brown eyes. So, ano yung conclude natin dito? So, we can say now that Mickey is a Filipino. Kasi sabi dito ng Filipinos daw, mayroong brown eyes. Si Mickey, may brown eyes siya. Therefore, masasabi natin na si Mickey ay isang Filipino. Okay? Okay, so let's have this third example. So, sabi dito, first fact, diligent students do their, uh, do their homework well. Then, second fact, Kenny and Andy are diligent students. So, kapag uh, itong dalawang facts natin, so meaning na si Kenny and Andy do their work or do their homework well. Okay? Then, last example. So, first um, fact we have here that senators are law makers. Then second fact we have Mr. Ocampo is a senator. So therefore, we can say that Mr. Ocampo is a law maker. No? Base dito sa dalawang statement natin. Okay? So that is all about deductive reasoning. Okay, so that is all about um, deductive reasoning and inductive reasoning. So always remember that for the deductive reasoning, for, based from the two known facts, we're going to make our conclusion. No? And then for the inductive reasoning is that based dun sa isang situation uh, or figure, hahanapan natin siya ng pattern for us to make our generalization. Okay, so I hope na... May natutunan kayo um, for today, especially for deductive and inductive reasoning. So for this, thank you for watching and keep safe.